once sperm are ejaculated, they have the capacity to swim for many, many days once they're inside the female's body. If she's during her fertile window, then those sperm that enter the vagina will quickly pass through the cervix, into the womb, and into the fallopian tubes. In the fallopian tubes, we think that there's a mechanism for sperm to kind of power down, to be held in a, a state of suspended animation. And they wait there until the egg is released. They're sent a signal, we're not sure what that signal is, and then they are slowly released from their storage site in the fallopian tube where they can go along the fallopian tube to find and fertilize an egg. Now, that sounds like a really quick process, but actually that whole process can take up to five days. So that sex five days before the time that the egg is released may lead to conception because the sperm have been helped along their way by the woman's body, they've been selected, they've been powered down to some extent, and then they've been given that final trigger to go on a hunt and find and fertilize the egg. So that's why we think to maximize the chance of conception, having sex two or three times a week means that you are fairly certain to hit that four or five day window when the woman's body is receptive to sperm and when it's most able to keep those sperm alive and healthy.